son. This is the truth of who you are, dear brothers. This means that the truth about man is that he is the risen Lord. We have proven in this video that Antipope John Paul II preaches that every man is the Christ, the Son of the living God. He declared this in his very first homily and has preached it for the last 25 years. He dissolves Jesus in the Incarnation, 1 John 4, 2 and 3, and he denies that Jesus is the Christ, 1 John 2, verse 22. His dissolving of Jesus results in the worship of every man as the Son of God, which he preaches and proclaims to the world in many and varied ways. Anti-Pope John Paul II is Antichrist, there is no doubt about it. And what should be obvious to everyone who has seen the evidence presented so far is that no mere human intelligence is capable of preaching what Anti-Pope John Paul II preaches. Only the devil himself could be preaching what Anti-Pope John Paul II is preaching. Our Lady of La Salette tells us that the Antichrist will be, quote, the devil incarnate. The preaching of Antipope John Paul II is so calculated, so diabolically brilliant, so satanically consistent, so vast in its scope, covering all the mysteries of the gospel, and so successful in deceiving the multitudes, that it can only be the work product of the devil himself. No one in history has come close to attacking our Lord Jesus Christ with such fury, to denying his sacred incarnation with such malice and frequency, to fulfilling sacred scripture's definition for Antichrist with such precision and completeness. No heretic in history could even begin to rival the wickedness of Antipope John Paul II's doctrine or his amazing achievement of preaching it without almost anyone figuring out what he is doing or who he really is. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 3 and 4. Let no man deceive you by any means, for unless there come a revolt first, and the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and is lifted up above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself as if he were God. We have already quoted Father Herman Kramer, who pointed out that the temple of God where Antichrist sits cannot be a rebuilt temple of Jerusalem, because that would not be the temple of God.